sorry for posting so many videos, but honestly, this is actually me just trying to process things. There's so much going on that I can't find any other way to deal with it. So I'm very thankful that I work from home because if not, I don't know what I would do. I doubt seriously I could maintain around others because I'm thinking they're about to disclose. This uh, video was uploaded on the 12th of October. It's titled The Secret Commonwealth, The Hidden World They Don't Want You to Know. And this guy is a supposed Anglican priest talking about his belief in the Commonwealth, otherwise known as the Secret Commonwealth of Elves, Fawns, and Fairies. Written about in the 1600s by a Scottish so-called priest, Robert Kirk. And you can see the video making guy here with in this photo and he's got this curved staff, you know, over here in the upper left hand corner. And it's very weird because in this same video <clears throat> one of the things that he shows is this uh, image here. And it's very, very weird because it looks exactly like the one shown in that 37th America's Cup opening ceremony. In that video I just left on my community tab. But look at this. See, it seems it looks just the same. And this is out of control. This entire ceremony is uh, of the America's Cup opening just seems like a ritual summoning. And then this thing appears. But I'm guessing the uh, maker of this video is an Anjou bloodliner because he has an Anjou pear sitting down here at the bottom on his shelf in the background of his video. And uh, he's got a million subs. And I think videos like this might be part of the disclosure. And in this video, uh, he's talking about being an Anglican priest for 33 years and it being 333 years between when the secret commonwealth was written and when it's coming into the public view. So it doesn't seem like there's any other reason for him to be spitting those numbers unless he's in the club. And I will link his description in the, or his video in the description. But this book, The Secret Commonwealth, which was added the name to it of Elves, Fawns, and Fairies sounds very similar to the recent publication of the Harvard researchers regarding UFOs where they call them crypto terrestrials and describe them as elves, fairies, also in that paper. And I covered that in my video titled Externalization of the Hierarchy. He uh, in the video is categorizing, categorizing the beings as Sith what people misinterpret as aliens and saying that they are indeed the ones doing the abductions. He's saying things like that they are the Anunnaki or the sky people, but he never refers to them as fallen angels or demons, which is what they are. He explains how they can shapeshift, manipulate the senses of those who encounter them, uh, nurture human intelligence, but also be predatory, and are unseen, non-human overlords. So about the author of the writing originally, The Secret Commonwealth, Robert Kirk, he was born in Scotland, the seventh son of a supposed minister, James Kirk. So in the occult, the seventh son is fated to be a vampire. This Robert Kirk studied theology at St. Andrews and received his master's degree at Edinburgh in 1661. And in his ministry, he worked with people in the Scottish Highlands who had extrasensory capabilities. They were remote viewing and they had precognition. He noted that these experiences went with contact phenomena, close encounters with mysterious non-human entities. And he died before they could publish his writings, they say. And then in his book, The Secret Commonwealth, it was finally published by Sir Walter Scott in 1815, after his death, long, you know, 100 years after, and published as The Secret Commonwealth of Fairies, Fawns, and Elves, like the ones in The Lords of the Rings and The Chronicles of Narnia and The Harvard White Paper. And in his book, Kirk described the beings as Sith, deriving from the ancient 
Celtic word pronounced she. So Robert Kirk believed that the traditional stories of elves, fawns, and fairies were encounters with real non-human entities, and he wrote that they were subterranean and mostly invisible. Here's an excerpt from his writing. The Sith or fairies are said to be of middle nature between man and angel, as were demons thought of to be, and old, of intelligent, fluid spirits and light, changeable bodies, like those called astral, somewhat of the nature of a condensed cloud, and best seen in twilight. These bodies be so pliable through the subtlety of spirits that agitate them that they can make them appear or disappear at pleasure. So in the late 1680s, this Robert Kirk traveled to London to help publish one of the first translations of the Bible into Scottish Gaelic, and then he died mysteriously before his book, The Secret Commonwealth, could be published. But Robert Boyle, this is Robert Boyle, financed the publication of the Bible, the Gaelic Bible, and it says he pursued inquiries into Kirk's reports of Second Sight. And Robert Boyle was Fellowship of the Royal Society. Robert Boyle was part of the Invisible College and the Rosicrucians. All Souls College at Oxford shows the arms of Boyle's family. And All Souls College is the one featured in a discovery of witches produced with the support of the Welsh government. See my video. It's titled, A Discovery of Witches. So, did Robert Boyle have something to do with Kirk's death? Since Kirk's collection of supernatural tales was considered as one of the most important and significant works on the subject of fairies and second sight. So, Kirk's writings were collected in 1691 and 1692, but then published by Scottish author Sir Walter Scott in 1815. So he met with, the Bible was published by Robert Boyle, but the book was published by Sir Walter Scott. And who is Sir Walter Scott? Sir Walter Scott is first baronet. He was a Scottish historian, poet, and Gothic novelist. He was fellowship of the Royal Society of Scotland and longtime president of the Royal Society of Edinburgh. He wrote Ivanhoe, Rob Roy, Old Mortality, The Bride of... Lammermoor and the Lady of the Lake. It says he had a major impact on European and American literature. So it seems to me that these people, all of them, it really does seem like they know about the supernatural and that they communicate with them at the very least. And maybe they do psychedelics which are grown in the garden at Oxford and they do the astral travel exactly as Kirk described in his writings. And that seems why the Welsh government is supporting the production of the discovery of witches. And I'm also guessing that this guy knows about it too, because if he's in Anjou, with his little pear clue here in the background, and whatever philosopher that is on his wall, then he's in the club, and they're disclosing. And then maybe they're going to say, oh, we thought it was aliens, but it's actually these other beings living alongside us. So, here are my Bible verses, okay? So, Ephesians 6, 18 says, Pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. James 5, 16 says, The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. Thanks for listening.